Welcome to another video of the Before You Buy series where we talk about brand new skins and upcoming skins. I'm the skin appraiser and this is Elderwood Azir. Elderwood Azir is an epic skin with a price tag of 1350 RP. For this splash art, I think Azir looks great. His textures looks clean and he is not really missing any important details. But I wish we can also see the soldiers without the shield. The shield looks cool and all but most of the time, what we see is the normal soldiers. So it would have been nice to see what they would look like in the splash art. I will give the details and textures a 9 out of 10. For the accuracy, his face looks a bit weird because of the angle. But overall, he still looks pretty accurate so I will give the accuracy a 10 out of 10. For the appeal, he looks great but I don't think he can beat the Warring Kingdom's Azir splash art. I will give the appeal a 9 out of 10. These are the loading screens, borders, and icons that you may purchase and acquire during the 2020 Battle Queens event. For the in-game model, I think Azir looks pretty cool. The wooden body and the texture looks great. The leaves looks great and I also like the overall color palette. Design-wise, I see a lot of like owl reference in the skin. The staff, the shield, and the turret looks like an owl. But his face doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not an owl. Nevertheless, he still looks great. If I'm going to nitpick, the symbol on his chest looks flat. But it's not a big deal. On the other hand, the soldiers looks alright. I'm fine with the head design but the arms looks weird. What is that teal colored skin? I'm not really sure what the arms are supposed to be. The shield looks good but the top is a little too wide that they are all clipping onto one another. Overall, I will give the design a 9 out of 10. For his face, he looks really cool and badass. I will give him a 10 out of 10. As for the animations, we only have a new recall animation and the rest is pretty much the same. What is the desert but the ashes of my enemies? For the visual effects, the turret on his passive looks cool. I like the leaves floating in the wind when you summon it. The auto attack is like a thorny vine. It's really quick but they look great. W looks good, there's a lot of leaves when you summon them and whenever they attack. I think it's pretty neat. Q looks good as well. I like the visual effects on the tip of the spear when they charge. E is amazing, I love the purple and orange color of the shield. And the ultimate looks good as well. I will give the visual effects a 10 out of 10. For the sound effects, they all sound great and eerie. There's a subtle change on the normal auto attack but the soldier's auto attack is almost similar to classic. 
everything sounds nice, it's like you're inside an eerie jungle, but some of the sound effects are almost similar to each other, so when you do a combo, it sounds redundant. I will give the sound effects a 9 out of 10. There are 8 chromas to choose from, I think they all look amazing. If you want to see more, you can watch this video where you can compare every single chroma to the classic one. Overall, Elderwood Zir is an awesome skin. The concept is pretty cool, but in the Elderwood universe, Azir is not as important compared to like Elderwood Ivern. So that part is a bit lame. Thankfully, the skin is still amazing. This is definitely one of my top Azir skins for me so far. Although I can't decide yet since I really love Classic Azir and Warring Kingdoms Azir. But if you like the Elderwood Azir, I highly recommend it. The total score is 66 out of 70. I will give Elderwood Azir a Grandmaster rating. So, are you looking to buy this skin? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, this video is my personal opinion. Leave a like and subscribe for more skin appraisal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.